Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's video I'm going to show you how to make a pair of sweatshorts. I've been loving wearing sweatshorts recently since I made them I guess and they're so so easy to make so I thought it'd be the perfect tutorial to show you all and they're very cute as well. They're like the weirdest kind of ugly item but they go with so much stuff. Basically I'm going to show you in the beginning of the video how I made them and then stay tuned to the end and I'm going to show you some outfits that I like to style them with. If you do make the shorts then please tag me on Instagram at Salon Alice and I'd love to see what you come up with. Sorry, I hope it's not too loud over here. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And let's just get straight into the tutorial. So for these sweatshorts, I'm using a sweatpants, like fleecy type material that I found at my local fabric store. You could use something like that or really any other material you'd like, as this is just a really great basic summer shorts pattern. But generally I've found that slightly thicker or more sturdy fabrics look a little bit better. So first I'm just folding it in half so I'll get two layers of my fabric and then I'm taking a normal pair of pants. You could use shorts you already own if you have a pair that you like. You could use jeans. Really any pants would work but generally something that fits a little bit looser or with a straight leg is ideal. And I marked on the pant just where I wanted the shorts to end on my leg. And I folded the pants in half one way and cut around the inside like crotch part of that leg leaving just enough for a seam allowance and then I went up around three or four inches depending on how high waisted you want the shorts to be over the top of the waistband. And then I cut up the side of the leg adding an inch or two to make the shorts nice and loose so that you can gather it around the waist later on. Then you'll have two layers of your pattern cut as you can see. Then I repeated these exact same steps folding my pants the other way to get the back pattern pieces and I cut out another two layers. You can just use the first pieces as a guide to make sure the waist and the length of the shorts are the exact same. Once you're done, you should have four pieces in total, two for the front and two for the back. Next, take your two front pieces and turn them right sides together and sew up that front crotch seam and do the exact same with the back pieces as well. Then open both of those pieces up and lay them right sides together and sew up both of the side edges of the pants and also along the inside hem. Then you can grab your elastic and I chose something that was a little bit thicker to get a really nice waistband and just make sure that it is non-roll elastic otherwise the elastic will just fold up and roll in your shorts which is super annoying, trust me on this one. Um, and then with the shorts still turned inside out, you're going to fold the top edge in or like towards you by around two inches or enough to fit your elastic through. And then once you've folded and pinned all around the edge, you can sew a straight line all the way around that waistband, staying very close to the edge, but leaving a gap of around a few inches just so you can feed the elastic through the channel you've just created. Now take your elastic and just make sure it is long enough to fit snugly around your waist and attach a safety pin to one end and then feed it through the one end of that opening you created and use your fingers to guide the safety pin throughout the entire waistband until it comes out to the other side. Then just make sure that the elastic is nice and flat around the entire waistband and sew both ends together to create a loop. Then tuck the elastic back into that fabric channel and finish sewing all the way around the edge to complete your waistband. Then adjust the gathers to make everything nice and even and you're done! And I'm choosing not to hem these as I really don't need to with the fabric and I like the raw look, but this really depends on the material you choose to use. All right, what's up? Um, these are what the finished shorts look like. I think they're super cute and I love them. And I wanted to show you a few outfits or like how I style them so you can get a little bit of inspiration. And I decided to go out to this random warehouse to show you the looks because there's like nowhere in my house that I can film right now. And yeah, it's super sunny so I'm trying to be in the shade. But I hope you enjoy. So here's look number one. So firstly, my absolute favorite way to wear these shorts is with an oversized t-shirt be it a plain white or a black one or something with a graphic design on it. And it's basically an excuse to wear pajamas 
like all day. Um, this top is thrifted from Goodwill and I've been wearing it pretty much non-stop ever since. And this is kind of what I wear around the house or it's perfect for a super chill day or if you're running errands or something like that. And of course you can dress it up more with a little bit of jewelry or maybe a bag or leave it just as it is because really the only accessory you need for this look is a little bit of confidence and I promise it will look amazing. Don't doubt the shorts, they will turn out for you, I promise. Next, I've paired my shorts with a white bandeau top and just a button-up shirt, which is actually my mom's. And I love this look because it's mixing the more formal style shirt with also the super casual shorts and basically bra top. I think it's really cute for like transitioning into fall kind of weather. And I've also got a blue and white striped button up which looks great with this as well or even a lavender one. Pretty much any button up will work with this as long as it's a little bit oversized. You could also do up a few buttons in the front or just leave the shirt open like a cover up kind of style. Just do whatever you like. Next look is paired with a semi statement top because of the one shoulder but it also looks very casual just because of the gray on gray. I think this one is so cute and it looks just dressed up enough to be acceptable and again you could grab some jewelry or maybe layer a few necklaces and I think it would really just pull the whole look together but overall I just really love this as a simple but very chic outfit. Any other kind of statement top is also going to look great with these sweatshorts just because you have that contrast of the very casual with like the fancy more dressed up kind of top. So just see what you have in your closet and don't be afraid to mix these very pajama like shorts with something a little bit fancier and you might get a pretty cute look out of it. Next, I've got some slightly different shorts, which I've made in the exact same way, but I've used a white woven material instead of that fleecy fabric. And this was actually an old blanket that I found, so don't be afraid to get creative with your materials and make some really cool and unique shorts. And I'm imagining this for like a nighttime walk when it's a little breezy or maybe for the beach. And I love combining the two textures of both the knitted sweatshirt and the woven shorts. And it just has a very cottage, but also chic feel to it. And the white on white look is very very preppy and cute I think but colored sweatshirts also look super cute and kind of playful for just a casual everyday or beachy time look. For this last look here I've just paired those same shorts with a simple tank top and a cap which is giving me like very sporty tennis kind of vibes and I just got the tank top from the thrift store and at first I wasn't really sure what I thought about it because that whole property of Hawaii kind of reminded me of like grade school and not a good way. Um, but I've kind of really fallen in love with it because it says property of Hawaii actually And I don't know I'm feeling kind of stuck in my hometown right now with corona and everything And I just think wearing this top is like my little escape. So Yeah, I think it's really cute and I like it a lot So thank you again so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it Please be sure to like and subscribe also if you have any other items you'd like me to try and make or like so then please leave a comment down below. I really like finding different items and instead of buying them, just making them myself. A lot of the times it's actually pretty easy and it's a lot more fun to wear them because like you've done it yourself. So I hope you all have a lovely week or lovely day and I'll see you again next week.